New, 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 new. Yeah. All right. Um, first up. Okay. We got two new products, and, it, and they're also new in the series. So we got the VCL 4040, which is a really nice proximity and lock sensor. And uh, we also have a DS3502. Um, yeah, I'll just talk about both kind of at the same time. It's an I2C um, potentiometer. And what's neat is that these are a new um, shape and format that we're doing, which is Stemma QT, which is compatible with Quick, which is uh, SparkFun's plug and play um, I2C sort of sensor device system. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing Stemma for quite a bit. In fact, we've had Stemma connectors on our boards for a while. I actually want to show some old boards from like 2017 to see what I, I originally came up with, which was, you know, use this JST connector and had alligator clips. And actually we even made a board with this style because I thought actually we would be doing more wearables and alligator clip stuff. Turned out not really. Um, it, it was more useful to have a small connector. So um, after seeing SparkFun has been making quick stuff for a couple of years, I was like, that's a really good idea. So when we were doing um, this next batch of i 2 c devices, um, we added these connectors, the JST-SH four pin connectors, which uh, are quick compatible. And um, they're actually also stomach compatible. They're actually compatible with the larger cables, the same pin order. Um, you just need the larger to smaller cable adapter, which we'll have um, in the store shortly. But what's nice about this is that it's um, chainable. And with I2C, as long as the cables aren't too long, you can chain you know, a couple of them together. And I have um, level shifting on uh, the ones that need three volts. So you can use these with a five volt device or three volt device, whichever you like. Mm -hmm. And here's an example of, for example, the VCNL. Oh, it's kind of cool. You can see the yeah, infrared cool. uh, pulsing out here. And then this is uh, an OLED version of our 0.91 inch display. You can see it's a prototype because it says, so, says name. But then as I um, cover it, you know, I've got an example sketch here that just uh, prints out the proximity and light. It makes like demos and plug and play really easy. And I like the, the you know, cross connection. And then, you know, you can add also the potentiometer or other I squared C devices as they come along. Um, and we've already got the cables in stock, so that's pretty nice. You can just pick one of these up. If you don't want to do any soldering, you pick up this to the plug headers and you can see you just plug it into your Feather or Arduino or Raspberry Pi and use our CircuitPython libraries that we have for these. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a good way for beginners who don't want to do any soldering they can just plug this in and they can get going immediately. So this is the theme of the night, just reducing mm -hmm. the barriers, whether Very it be code it's or the theme of everything we do. Yeah, it's pretty much yeah, no, our this jam. Is, we already have all the code for these libraries. And I was like, you know what, this is a really good way because, you know, I have feathers and feather wings and plugins, but for people who are using like a Raspberry Pi, they may not have a breadboard at all. So yeah. this, you could plug in any sensors or devices without needing it. Mm -hmm. And the chainability means you can connect as many as you like, uh, as long as they have unique addresses. Um, next up, we have a uh, very tiny potentiometer. This is so cute. We've had the 45 millimeter long one. This one is only 35 millimeters long. It is <laughs> adorable, and it comes with a little knob on top. Uh, and if you just want a slide pot, but something small enough that you could maybe put on a feather wing or on a little breadboard. Uh, is this the just... cutest one? I think that. You think this is fine? That kind of shows it pretty well, actually. This is like. We were watching the aquarium show, and there's like baby stingrays and like baby <laughs> otters. It's like, oh, look. Yeah, so this is very it's cute. It's a little slide pot. I can show it, okay. but yeah, so you got the digital potentiometer okay. and a slide potentiometer. Okay. Lots Wanna of Want to keep going? Yeah, keep going. All right, next up, we've got um, skinny NeoPixel neon strip. So we actually had this in a chonky configuration, and now we have it in this very slim. That's the technical term. Right? This That's is, right. well, it's slim because it's, it's interesting. So they actually had issues making it wider. And so they ended up kind of making this slim style. I actually sort of like it. It's very skinny. It's side light NeoPixels. And then it has like a diffused strip. So I'll show it on the overhead. Um, so it's, it is NeoPixel. You know, you can control it from, I've got like a Metro here, just driving it like normal NeoPixel demo. And help you. you can like dim it. Well, the color is, is I think the, it's mesmerizing. The color is mesmerizing, is. but um, <laughs> what's interesting is that it's not clear here. This is right. not translucent on three sides, and then there's this thin strip, 
and it's very vibrant and smooth because it's got like 96 pixels per meter. Um, but just be aware, it isn't that like rounded neon, which we do have some of. This is slimmer, but the trade-off is that you don't have it like side. You can't see from the side, only head on. But it's a pixel strip, it's a meter long, and it's it's got this great diffusion on it. Yeah, it looks really and good. And it's nice and durable. It's like thick silicone. This would be great for like outdoor bicycle projects, wearable projects where, uh, you know, I don't guarantee this for like permanent outdoor installations or putting underwater for long periods of time, but definitely outdoor use, this would be good. Okay, so we've got these yeah. uh, alligator clip to socket headers handy if you've got like a Raspberry Pi, you want to connect to alligator clips, you have a circuit playground, you want to connect it to something with male headers, good times. And then, finally, one of the stars of the show is the TC4. Yeah. <gasps> Very exciting. So, so exciting. So this uh, was announced today and we got a shipment and we have a bunch. Um, so this is a 600 megahertz uh, processor with like some insane amount of flash and RAM. I don't even remember, it's like a megabyte of each or something. Um, it's a very beefy chip. This is a BGA chip with like probably a six layer board. Um, it's got like two USB ports. It's got high, speed, high speed, everything. The most, the most. Um, it's the new IMX RT1062 chipset, which we're very excited about because we were thinking of it as it would be a good upgrade from the Sandy 51, which we've loved oh, for yeah. a while. Yep. Um, the Teensy 4, it's like 20 bucks and it's so incredibly fast. And of course, you've got all the Teensy libraries um, ready to go. So displays and I think NeoPixels they got going. Yeah, uh, they were working on the eyeball code. They're going to eyeball code. So, you know, it's a different chip. It's a little bit different than others. It's kind of like a micro, it's a, it's a Cortex M7. So it's quite powerful. Um, but this is, I think, 10 times faster than, faster than the Teensy 3.2. So when you, you know, there will still be, you know, libraries and things that may need adaptation to get them working. <laughs> but if you just want like the fastest chip you could possibly get, pick up one of these. We got some, we're going to looking at maybe adding teeny USB support, so your Python support to this chip. Mm -hmm. uh, we think this could, you yeah. know, definitely be the next generation. This is, it's, this is about as fast as a microcontroller can get. After this, you're actually... It is a different kind of process for dealing with yeah, chips. Yeah, I, I was talking with Paul about this, and it's like it's a kind of a hybrid between their lower end micros and their actual like Linux capable things. About half the peripherals are from the Linux capable Cortex A's. Yeah. I mean, six hundred megahertz. Are. It's like you're basically. It's ridiculous. My first. I'm super excited. PC was a Pentium one twenty. So this is like ten times faster. <laughs> Uh, so we're excited. So check these out. Um, we're we're happy to stock them. We've loved the Teensies. Yeah, from, all those are great. From job. the from the one Teensy one, the AT ninety, uh, one sixty two, all the way now to the Teensy four. It's been uh, quite a ride. Um, we still love the Teensy three point twos and three point sixes, and these will probably be coming out in because it's chip, of course, has bazillions of pins. You'll be seeing three, you know, four point fives and four point sixes come out. I'm sure with more pins. So stay tuned. Okay, and the story of the show tonight, besides the community and all the people who work on Circuit Python, is the Pi Ruler now in purple. Yeah. It's the ruler. Yay! <laughs> Circuit Python rules. It's in a beautiful purple color. Uh, we got those capacitive touch pads, those LEDs. This is one of the demos. Um, we had this in red, and now we have it in purple. Uh, and it's also, of course, part of the giveaway uh, that we're doing when you order from the Adafruit shop during the month of August. All supplies last. Okay, mm -hmm. and with that, we made it. Okay, do you want to do a quick recap? Let's do a quick recap. New, 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 new. Super fast. We've got the VCL 4040 proximity and lux sensor, now in STEMA QT format uh, with quick compatible connectors. Also, a digital I2C potentiometer that can go up to 12 volts and has non volatile memory. Also, with quick connects. A adorable 35 millimeter potentiometer. Look at how cute this slide pot is. It's so cute. It comes with a knob even. So cute, so useful. You got NeoPixel strips, but this time it's one meter thin diffused neon. So it's got the silicone diffusion side LEDs for a beautiful uh, diffused look, but it's NeoPixel compatible. We've got alligator clips to uh, socket headers, so standard 0.1 inch socket headers uh, connect to alligator clips back and forth of these crop clips. Look at those connectors. You're happy. The TNC4, so exciting, it's finally out. Mm -hmm. uh, same size and shape as the TNC 3.2, but 600 megahertz. 
IMX RT 1062 uh, microcomputer crossover processor. Incredibly fast with support from TNC Duino. Uh, this is the chip to watch with tons yes. of flash and RAM at an amazing price. Um, this is as fast as it gets, buddy. Let's check it out. And the CircuitPython ruler uh, rules. It's like a TNC M0, but it's got capacitive touchpads and LEDs, and it's a ruler with references and, and measurements. And of course, we're in CircuitPython. We're doing giveaways and warp with this ruler during the month of August for CircuitPython. That was new.